Today we're going to be building a hotel in The Sims 4 for rent. Thanks to the EA Creator Network for the early access. Also, if you're interested in picking up The Sims 4 for rent or any other Sims pack, you can now use code JAMES at checkout and 5% of that sale will go directly to supporting this channel. So feel free to do that or don't. I appreciate whatever you decide to do. Thanks to EA for sponsoring that portion of the video. Just as a note, this is not final software, it's early access, hence my username jumping around on the screen. So I'm here in the new world of Tomerang, and the new feature in Forrent is obviously you can create apartments, apartment buildings, townhouses, that kind of thing. So you could have, you know, house one here, house two here, so number one, number two. And they're distinctly different, completely different houses. Two different families can live there. But then you can also have a completely shared space. So this area here can go back to being shared and you could have the kitchen, the bathrooms, everything else in this space. And these could only have beds, for example. And that would work. Not only that, but we can customize how much rent we're charging and how long the leases are. So we could do a one day lease, have a guest, a guest come in, stay, and then get out. So in this sense, we can create and run a hotel. So today I'm going to build just that. Now we do have to be careful because it's very easy to not be able to make money through rentals. The Sims 4 4N is kind of designed to make you a good landlord, which when it comes to doing stuff like rags to riches or running terrible, terrible apartment buildings is not good. You won't really earn money. So we need to make it nice because you have to pay taxes on each unit and make sure they're nice enough that you actually earn more rent than the taxes. So I want to build like one of these buildings because I always like to look around the world and see sort of what's in the space and try and build that same thing. So it, first of all, matches it in. But second of all, because we've got all these cool buildings that we can't really play in, which is always a shame. But you know, why don't we make them playable? I think another fun build could be doing like these townhouses here as well. But today I'm going to do one of these and make it a hotel. So the first thing I'm going to do, we're going to do bb.show hidden objects and bb.show live edit objects. And then we're going to search up debug. And these are all the items that we can see sort of around the world that decorate the neighborhood. I essentially just want to find this building, which looks like this one right here. Here we go. All right. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this as a reference and it's kind of easier than trying to zoom in on a building in the background. So I'm going to place this here. We're going to use this as a reference and create our, our version of it. So I actually think here on this corner of the lot is actually a pretty nice place because that leaves a whole bunch of space over here. And actually that's perfect. We could do like a little parking lot here. And then I wanted to do a shared space out the back. Now this has got a flat wall. I think we'll make it look more like this on the back as well. And I'm going to insert it a bit so we have a bit of room on the edges. And I'm actually just going to use this wall here, the custom room. I'm actually going to trace these walls. Back in the day, these pre-made buildings that they, or not pre-made, these decorative buildings they had around the world never used to be properly scaled. Like sometimes they'd be way off. But lately, whenever they do them, you can see that the scale is like the exact same size as regular walls, which makes recreating them super easy. Then I'm gonna I'm gonna trace the next levels. We're gonna I'm just gonna trace up the building. Oh, here we go. Here's our first little spanner in the works. That is not illegal. These two walls are illegal. That's all right. We'll just do one here and one here instead. So the middle is four. The two sides are three. That's all right. So it won't be exactly even. We might actually adjust this build anyway. Maybe stretch it out a bit. And then we've got some balconies here. Okay. So okay. Here's where we run into some other weird things with these debug buildings. I'm pretty sure these screens, is that from Moschino stuff or something? It's from another pack. It's not in this pack. And these windows look like the cats and dogs windows almost. I don't think, or maybe the seasons ones. It's hard to tell. So we don't have everything that this building has, but we have something similar to those screens. So we'll get, we'll, I'm still gonna put walls here and here. Oh. <laughs> That's weird. There we go. We're going to get the matching half walls, complete each of these balconies. And I think if you're also not too confident in your building skills, like you're not sure what you want to build or how it's going to turn out. Actually, I think I'm missing a wall here, aren't I? Yeah. Then this is actually a really good way to get started because and not like copying a giant building like this, but looking at the buildings in the world around you and using those as references because then it will always fit in with the surrounding neighborhood. So I like this. I'm going to change the back because this is where we're going to have like a communal space. So having a big flat back area is not going to be any good. I think I'll just do the same thing that we have around the front. What I'm going to do though is actually stretch out the building a bit. So I'm going to make each of these four wide and then I'm going to do another little diagonal corner, I think. And then we'll just do the same thing that we have on that side. And that actually lets us fit a fourth balcony very easily by doing the exact same thing like that. Okay, so we've got our basic shell. Uh, I'm not going to do the second level of balconies just yet because I think what I'm going to use is the new windows. These ones here because they're just like, uh, they don't have any glass or anything. And obviously it's not the exact same as what they've got over there, but I think it totally works with the pack that we have. Okay, so before I go too far, I want to make sure because we I was going to have like a pool or something at the back here. Do we have enough room to do that? Like, is this going to be okay? There's a brand new hot tub as well. And I think we've got to use this somewhere. So. 
I'm thinking maybe in the corner here somewhere it could be really nice. I'm thinking like up on like a deck or something, use the new foundation, and then some like hedges or something behind it. You know, I'm just doing this quickly to get a, a rough sketch and idea of how I want it. And then I want the pool area sort of in the same space. So yeah, I want, I'm just using the fence to create a decking area. So I want this, yeah, the hot tub to be a little higher. Then I wanted the pool like down here somewhere. I want it to feel almost infinity pool-esque, which obviously is not going to work because it's an in-ground pool. But you know, I kind of want you swimming here and it feels like you're in amongst the, the sort of the plants and then we've got the water out there. I guess in that sense, maybe we could, could we put this up higher? Could we have this raised up on this first floor? I have an idea. Back in these live edit items, I'm pretty sure, yeah, there's some rocks, however. <laughs> These might end up being too big, but I kind of wanted to, if we can use these to create a little rock face here. Oh, there's a lot of other ones. Hang on, this could be good. Oh, this one's like perfect. If I scale it down like a smidge. Oh yes, hang on, here we go. Oh, this could actually really work. And then we do like a, uh... wait, does it let you put these? <laughs> it lets you put these windows that have no glass. They're literally just holes. Okay, let's not do that. Now, the other thing I want to do is probably not have a wall on most of this. I think it will actually look better using these columns. Oh. <laughs> okay, I need the, uh, I, need, I still need the flooring. Hang on, let me do a fence up top first. Because <laughs> we need the flooring up here still. Okay, yeah, yeah, so we still have the decking up there and obviously the pool has walls. And then I want to use these as like the main support structure, which I can't even see there, but it's there. Do a nice like wooden trim as well. Oh, there we go. Okay, so then underneath, this is basically just going to be plant life. Like it's just going to be... Like growth, we're not really gonna have anything there. So I'm gonna just go back to our debug. We could probably do more rocks as well. I, I don't wanna go too overboard with doing a bunch of rocks everywhere. Cause I don't know, honestly, it kind of feels like we don't need that many more rocks around the back here. Like I feel like we've kind of got the, the idea of it. Maybe do it, if I can get another one here, it's kind of hard to like get it right on the edge. Cause I don't want it like coming into the pool. That's what I'm trying to avoid. I'm right on the edge of the lot too, but I think it's a little bit there, but that's all right. Maybe we get one more around this way like that. Okay. And then the rest, I just want to do as just some like undergrowth down there. Just, you know, a lot of plants. Oh yeah, definitely have a palm tree coming through the, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. And I've added a few other plants around this. I think that that's kind of what I want it to be. You know, that's what I want it to be. I'm gonna get this decking out there. Oh yeah. Let's actually finish up the exterior of this building, make it look like this decorative one because we have not done that yet. So we need to do a roof setup similar to this. So I think I'll copy these balconies now, the upper level. I guess the first thing I'm gonna do is do the roof trim. I believe it's just something like that. And then it's just white. Actually, they're using a slightly thicker one. You know, my wall is actually way too short. You can see how much taller it is. That's all right, let me, I'm gonna put the other roofs in first. Okay, something like this. And then there's another one just here, obviously a little bit smaller. And then this same thing carries around to the side. And then on the back, I'll do the same sort of roofing setup that we had on the front. And then these balconies just have one roof piece. All right, then the next piece is kind of like this. Now it's obviously not, no, I don't think any of this is one-to-one -one exact, but this will do. Gotta get roughly the shape we're after like this. And then we just go around and put it on all the pieces here. Actually these ones, oh, okay, so. Yeah, because these are three wide. You can see they're actually, theirs are aligned in the center. I changed the size of this one. We could actually fit four on the side here, so that is possible. Maybe I'll do that instead. We could just turn this into four instead of three. That's probably the easiest solution. Just do this. And now the roofs line up with the walls. This is cool. I actually really like this. I mean, I didn't design the building, obviously, but I think I did a pretty good job. <laughs> All right, so down the bottom as well, let's do some little, they had like a little planter here. I think it's just that, is that how high it is or is it smaller? They're actually using some other, that's not a half wall. It's not a thing that exists. So I'm just gonna use a half wall. That's good. So obviously our main entrance is gonna be here. Now they're kind of using a lot of generic stuff going on here. I think I just kind of want to use some of the new stuff, you know, this one's probably better. I'm not sure what color scheme yet, but I'll do something like that. You know what, I'm gonna use these windows. Oh, their door's actually off center. I was like, these don't really fit, but it's cause they have their door here. Interesting. Okay, then they have the awnings, which actually, oh, that's kind of cool. Very weird. So you can see our walls stop here, right? And then they actually have like a little balcony on the next level, which is neither of these two. That, is, that does look familiar. I don't know what pack it's from, but it's neither of these ones. But we'll use obviously one from uh, for rent. So. so, okay, so they're doing these, but they actually have awnings on the walls, which actually, again, I don't think I have those awnings. It's like, is that dine out or something that those come from? That's all right, we've we got a bunch of new ones here. So this has to be at this height. 
And then what they've done is if it was a real build, you use like a platform here. And then this is like sitting on the edge of the platform. And then there's like flooring there. It's kind of cool. I kind of like it. Okay, I kind of like this. We've got a little bit of pink sort of up here. I did have the pink door, but I kind of think it's maybe a bit too much and it doesn't quite go. But I like the sort of white doors with the gold and then the, the pink uh, little balconies here. All right, they also have columns here, which looks like the, I think get together is where that column's from, which obviously again, we don't have that, but we do have these. And there is a pink one. Oh, that's huge though. It's like a really thick. It's a little big, <laughs> but I could use these. And that just did in between each balcony. Okay, I think these work. Gives us a nice little trim. Speaking of trim, let's get the floor trim. I think is this one, looks like it. All right, windows. What uh, new windows do we actually have here? We could do this sort of the, that sort of cream and gold color, which actually matches those doors. So maybe actually white would be a better choice. Because here's the thing, we, we could make a pink building here, guys. This could be amazing. Yeah, so these fit a little bit better on this level, which is good. Are there any other details I need to get from this building? I don't think so. The other side is the same sort of thing with those windows and then, yeah, that's fine. I think we're good. I think we can get rid of the reference now and work on it ourselves. I First of all, I think it fits already pretty well with the surrounding architecture. Like this looks like one of the buildings. I might change the roof color and all that, but uh, we're, we're there, we're there. We're done, thanks. Thanks for watching. No, we're gonna get out. Where's that new wallpaper? Here we go. What does that pink look like? Because this could be epic. Now, one problem I do have with this world, other than the lack of lots, because there's like, what, nine lots or something in this world? <laughs> Very little. But the lighting on this lot, you can see the sun is like directly above it. And when I go to like morning, there's like this kind of light. And then there's no good like lighting. Like I can't get a good front lighting on this. So it's kind of hard to tell what color we're working with here, but that only really matters when we're in build mode. In live mode, obviously that doesn't really matter. I am loving the pink though. I think the pink is a vibe. I think the pink balconies actually do have to change probably just a white because it actually kind of is, not, it's not the right pink. And I think that still works. Oh, we need like a sign here. Oh, there's like these carvings. I know these aren't really signs, but if we scale up this like elephant wood carving, that's pretty sweet. Is that a vibe? Does it get in the way? Not really, that's okay. That's kind of fun. I was gonna think a huge like, oh wait, you know what would be good there? Like one of, oh yes. Of this pointing up in the corner. I don't know, just lighting there. If we did like colored lighting there, we definitely need some sort of LED like sign or light there too. It'd be cool. Do these scale? I do. Doesn't really light up that much though. <laughs> it's not as light as you'd think it would be. All right, I'm gonna go around and do the rest of the windows and balcony. It's basically gonna be the same as this. Around the back, I might do some different ones overlooking the pool area. And actually before we continue fully, I think we should have a bridge here. And I think one, no, I won't do one there because I think there'll be a room there. I was gonna do a connection here, but I think this will be our main sort of connection to the building. And then we'll probably have some stairs somewhere here too, but we'll figure that out. So yeah, we'll have like a lobby space. Obviously downstairs is gonna be mostly lobby shared space, maybe dining and all that. Oh, actually, you know what? What we could do, maybe this second floor should be the, the hotel. So let me get, sorry, I don't, I was just about to do all the windows, but I want you to walk in. There's just gonna be a nice fancy lobby downstairs here, but it's gonna be a double wide staircase going up. Then this door I'm gonna use potentially for my own, I was thinking my own apartment would be down here because this is almost like the basement level. I know it's obviously not a basement, it's on ground floor. But then, you know, our main entertainment level is here with the pool and everything. So it kind of makes sense that you would go upstairs to get to it. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna trace that line of wall that I did down there. Not all the way around, but we'll come around to here. Come around like this. Okay, remove that floor. So this will be open to the level below, right? And then we'll have like the main like lobby space in here. And then obviously then we can have nice big doors out to the back. Like this, I guess just they should be white, right? Cause that's kind of what we're doing. So that'll be there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know these balconies are now kind of a bit random cause they're kind of like more for hotel rooms, but it's fine. It's, so I'm thinking like bathrooms or something here. Uh, and then I want to have, well, we'll have like a check-in desk probably, might be off to the side here. Cause we've kind of got this like cut in area. And I'm saying check-in desk, there's obviously no check-in. It doesn't do anything. It'd be purely decorative. Okay, I gotta figure out this layout. Let, you know what, let me do the rest of the windows. I really need those. Okay, I was gonna combine these windows with these balconies, but obviously you can see the shutters don't work. So I think we'll just do this window with the shutters built in at the back here. Cause I mean, this is like overlooking the pool area and like the water views. Like you're looking out this way. So I think it makes sense to have like those as really nice big windows. And I have no idea how these balconies are gonna line up with rooms or flooring, but I feel like we should have a lot of glass here. Cause then it, we can sort of have those big modern windows in that space, which lets in a lot of light, but it also doesn't sort of take away from the exterior of it looking more like an older building. Now this does only leave actually one floor for like hotel rooms. 
which I think I'm okay with because you can only have six units, which means we'll have five hotel rooms and I'll live in one of them, so we six. Is this a room here? Like how big, how big are we talking for rooms? Because each of these are a separate balcony, so we could do something like this, four easy rooms like that. These side ones are really small, and like I said, they kind of have to actually be pretty good to be able to make any money from them. So can we make this bigger? And we need a fourth room, which I guess would just be this. Such a weird... <sighs> Not good though, is it? <laughs> okay, maybe we need to make these bigger. What if these are rooms? And then same on this side. Because then that just makes more sense that that's a hallway. Then we have four hotel rooms. We need a fifth one, which I guess could be on this floor then. Because we have all the... Maybe over here, this side is a room somewhere because there's a whole bunch of balconies right here. What if I do two rooms down the bottom here instead? So we do two rooms there. Then this one becomes one larger room. Just because it's nicer, you know, it's on the upper floor. And then obviously we could probably expand this into one balcony instead of all the multiple ones. So you have like a huge room there, two rooms there, two rooms here, and then this is like your lobby. We'll have, uh, we need like a breakfast area. Oh, that's right, the door's actually not in the center. I'm lining up the stairs to the door, but the center of the building's actually there, which probably explains why this lobby was a bit weird. And I'm gonna do this, let me just adjust. I think if I can turn this area here, at the back, that'll be like a kitchen area. And then you come out into this space. Is that, can you even, can Sims walk under that? That seems so low. It's like, isn't this could be like the dining room? And then we'll have like check-in, maybe like here or something. I don't know, just to fill up that space. I'm gonna make this opening a little smaller because Sims have to kind of walk around here because we'll have the entrance to this room there. We do also need to get upstairs again still somewhere. I could potentially do it this way. It's just kind of weird because then, you sort of walk up. The oh, actually, you know what? Wait, maybe that would work. You walk up, then we have like a, again, reception, have like a little desk here or something. And then they're like, hey, welcome. And then it's like, your room, just go up the stairs behind me. And you go up that way, right? Okay, this might work. Cause then obviously we can access all three rooms. And then I just gotta open up that space. In which case this probably shouldn't be a shuttered window cause you can never get to it. <laughs> so maybe just a regular window just above that main entrance there. That makes sense. So we've got, yeah, one room, two, three, four, five. So those are our guest, guest rooms. Then we'll have like the kitchen here. This will be dining, and then this is just like lobby space, also lobby space down here. Then my space and like utility room and all that, I guess will be down the bottom here. So we have a door here, so I guess I'll come in this way. Maybe I can have like an apartment here or something. And then there is a lot of extra space down here. Now on the original reference building, they had like a garage on this side. Uh, so hang on, let's have a look. Yeah, it's like that. And I have like a little parking lot and stuff, which I really like. So I kind of want to do something similar. And I believe, is there a garage door in base game debug? Oh yes, there is, okay, here we go. Oh, it's actually a little tall. Or why don't I just use the new door? Well, sorry, door, not really a door. It is a wall decoration. It looks like a door that's like shuttered closed. And it kind of looks like, at least from this side, the inside it clearly looks like, and if I flip it around, it looks like a shop window or something, but from this side it looks like it could be like a garage door. So I'm gonna use this. Okay, that looks too much. I think I have to actually do one less and have a gap. <laughs> yeah, that's better. So then we can have those down there. That kind of looks like maybe there's like a garage or something under there. And then I'm gonna turn this into like a utility space, I think. I just put like these in because they kind of look like columns because it's one big room. Maybe it's holding up the rest of the building. I don't know. All right, I like the really crappy lighting in this room. <laughs> yeah, so this is gonna be like my utility room. So can I get like a little... No, it's kind of having there was a door with like a utility sign on it or something. But honestly, probably one of these doors would be good. Uh, I guess I'll do it. Hmm. Nope, never mind. I can't really fit it. Oh, you know what would be cool? Here, I've gave up on the door. I'll go back to it. Like an indoor, oh yeah, like a little garden space here. But like in here, I kind of wanted to do like a few little plants. But yeah, something like that then. I know it goes over the stairs a bit, but I think I think you get the idea. Yeah, okay. Wait, there's a wall here? Wait, what is that? Wait, what? What? There's like a thing here and a thing here. Oh, is it the half wall like glitching? Probably. Okay, well that didn't help. So <laughs> I don't know what it is. I'm not sure what I'm doing with the walls and stuff in this place. At the moment, they're all just pink. I'm moving outside for no particular reason, but I'm gonna do a couple of these. Actually, do we have umbrellas? Because that'll be good. That's what we need. Oh, they're pink. All right, we gotta get these tuk-tuks in here. I wanna get like some that are like parked in the garage. Oh, really? Must be outside. Really game? Why? It doesn't do anything, it's purely decorative. Really, even move objects? All right, fine, I'm gonna use it. There is also a debug version, which I'm gonna guess it doesn't have that restriction. Such a random restriction to put on a decorative item. All right, where's my fake one? Well, they're both fake. Ooh, while I'm here, I need a bike rack. Uh, the bike racks are really cool. I'm just gonna, these are all just decorative as well. I'm just gonna get a few of these out so I can use them and I don't have to find it later. Couple of bike racks. Ah, right, here we go, debug. Look at this, you can go inside. <laughs> it's, and it has all the same set of patterns too. I wanna have a couple of these just like shoved in the garage and then we'll have like utilities there or something. Oh, you know what? Actually, I think my apartment will be here. I'm gonna turn this into like a gym or something. 
So for the people staying in the hotel, they can come down here and go into like the gym. So we have like another place they can come hang out. So I'm not gonna do a door on this side because like the other buildings have the door, but I think I'll just do windows because I don't really want people walking down that way anyway. But I will do a door here because I've got stairs coming down. And so then you could exit the gym and go up to the pool area. I kind of like this being like a weird, like a lower level with like, it's kind of a bit cramped down here. I want to do something like plants or something here. All right, so this is like a parking lot area. So I want to figure this out. How have they, they've kind of got like pathways and then just like concrete separately. Okay. Okay. I think this is a better sort of setup. So I've got like a little bike rack out the front. I did have it over here, but I was like, that's kind of weird that the bikes are so far away. Um, and then we got the pathway through the middle and then that obviously comes down the back so you can get up to the pool area. Not sure what's gonna go there yet. I might actually add maybe another car or something. I just feel like I need to do something else in this parking lot. Well, anyway, I think I'll just do some more plants and stuff around here because I, I do want these to be like little little planters and stuff in here. Maybe, ooh, this tree can go in there. Maybe some of these guys. Yeah. Oh, this looks so nice. Oh, it has different colors. Oh, it's got a green one. Epic. I, I don't know why there's so many of these plants. I feel like I've said this in a few videos now. There's so many plants that they have here in live edit that I feel like would be really good is just in the regular catalog. Like this little one that we're just using. I feel like that's so nice, especially the bright colored version. That sort of pinky red. Ooh, it looks good. Yeah, that already looks way better just having a few plants there. Okay, I do feel like we could probably have a tree in this middle of this parking lot. I know it's kind of weird, but like the parking lot was built and the, the tree is just there, you know, so they didn't move it. Ooh. Yeah, this is actually really good. I might use this. Pop that in there and then I'll just put the flooring back. Yeah, that's great. And I just did a few little bollards at the back. There's some here for the pathway. I guess it doesn't really make sense because you could just drive there and whatever, you know, little detail. All right, I'm pretty happy with that. I don't want to do any more there, I don't think. I'm not sure about this yet, so I'm just going to leave it. So I just did a little layout in here for the gym. What I'm thinking is we have the gym space down the side here, and then this is going to be a little bathroom area. So we'll have a couple of shower rooms, a couple of toilets, and then sinks and stuff there. And then we can have a bunch of gym equipment just in this space. Yeah, just something like that. Pretty simple, pretty basic, but it should allow Sims to come in here and use the space. Ooh, we get to use the new showers. These are fancy. Let's get those in there. All righty. Yeah, I actually kind of wanted to make this kind Kind of fancy. I don't know why these brown tiles kind of speaking to me. Ooh, I like the brown and the green. That's kind of, and the gold. Ooh. Yeah, so we're gonna have those. Then we're gonna have the more upmarket squat toilets. And then the new counters, of course, here for the sinks. Oh, actually we do have this sink though. Hmm, actually, maybe this would be nicer just because, you know, we get to use a new sink. Let's do it. Lovely. New mirrors. I don't know if these necessarily pair the best. Honestly, these little golden ones, kind of fun. <laughs> kind of fun with that. Okay, so then we have a little bathroom there, a little gym there. I'm happy with that. Oh yeah, I used this door for my apartment. <laughs> I thought it was kind of funny. I want that door that goes into my apartment, uh, which will be in here, which has currently no windows. So I should probably add some sort of lighting somewhere. Oh, you know what would be a cool idea, actually? I've got I've got an idea. So, okay, this is kind of like the entertainment area. Here's the gym. People are going to be walking past here. I'm sure there's going to be Sims around here, either going through here up the stairs or whatever. So they're probably going to walk past my my room. So I'm going to turn this into an enclosed courtyard. This is what I've done. We've got those walls and windows there still. We've got the fence on this side and then I've done like a little planter. Then above it, it also has these window sills. So that sort of closes it in a little bit. And I think that gives it a bit of privacy. All right, so then this is my apartment now. So I need my own bathroom, I would say. It'd probably be nice. I kind of want my place to be bad because I want all the other rooms to be really nice, but I want mine to feel like it's falling apart. <laughs> There's no like really terrible showers in base game, but I guess we'll just do this one. I'll do a cheap sink. Lovely. <laughs> yeah, I will have my own kitchen. All the other rooms are not going to have their own kitchen, I don't think. Oh, I guess over this side makes sense. What do I do here? <laughs> I like the idea of this being like a vent from the bathroom, like the shower just next door. <laughs> I'm going to put another one here. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. A little plant, a little, little table area. Oh, it's got to have an old wood ceiling too. <laughs> all right, I'm pretty happy with this. I mean, we've got the bed, bathroom, dining, kitchen, living. It's great. It's all we need. But we do need, because this is my, again, this is my room. We got to use all this old nasty scuff stuff. Get some of it above the stove and stuff. Oh yeah, by the bed area. <laughs> yeah, that, that'll do. You know, we get, we get the, uh, the feel now from in here. Okay, so then this is our utility room. So let's get some of the actual utility features, which are somewhere. Where do they live? A very good question. Oh, here we go. Water heater. Is this the... Yeah, so these are the functional ones. So we're going to get a water heater for the building. So I guess we'll go in here somewhere. There you go. And we'll do the fuse box, which again, this is the functional one. There are decorative ones. I guess I'll put it... I can actually see it in the light. Go right there. Let me make them look older though. Yeah, there we go. 
<laughs> oh yeah. Okay, so yeah, those go in there so we can take care of it nice and easily. Uh, actually, you know what? Roof access might be good just for me. So I'm gonna do some stairs up to the roof just here. And actually we might be able to put this in a room so it doesn't have that weird lighting. Cause it might look okay. Oh, actually, you know what? It'll look cool if you do this. That's kind of cool. I like that. We really need a sign here, but oh wait, we had one. It just got deleted. I think it was literally just deleted then, right? Yeah, there it is. <laughs> I was gonna say, we need like a sign. Yeah, it's cause I did have one, but I got rid of it. And then maybe this could be like a little garden like we've been doing. That's better. Got some nice plants there, that big thing up there again. And then on the top level, we just need a nice rooftop door. Then we can get the functional solar water heaters up here, which also will need maintenance. But I think, uh, okay, don't do that please. <laughs> stay, stay down here. No, 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 stay, stay, stay. Okay, go down. Good. Okay, I gotta put the walls down. <laughs> so I got a few of these out here. Oh, we're gonna make them look a little older. But I want the actual rooms and stuff to be nice, but you know, the areas that the guests can't see, you know, why, why not uh, give it a little bit of flavor, you know? Very nice. And then we gotta do some air conditioning units. Now these are, these are purely, these are actually just decorative. They don't do anything. But I should actually use the ones that do work, these ones. Uh, where are our rooms? So we got a couple of rooms here. Oh, we could do one on this side. One at the front. I want that to look old. Probably not. It should be nice. It should be nice from the outside. The one there. We could do one up here as well. So that's those two rooms. This room needs one, which we can easily do around this side. I feel like that we should probably have another big window here because this is kind of looking out the nice direction. So maybe we should do a window there. Oh, I guess it should be these windows, shouldn't it? Because this is not really a lobby anymore. Yeah, because this is a room. So that makes more sense. Yeah, that's nice. I know it doesn't match those windows over there, but I think that's okay because that, that is the lobby. So I think those glass windows make sense. Okay, well, egg conditioning units I guess have to go somewhere on these balconies then because also I should probably expand the balconies because they don't need to be this small anymore. These two rooms share those spaces like that because yeah then we could have like one door. I'm not sure exactly where they're gonna go. We, we might need to move them around but we'll see. And I think I might leave that as a wall space because we can put an AC unit there. Like that. Now up here this is literally one room so I can remove all whoops remove all these inner walls. There's no reason to have all this. And now that's just one big room all along there. Uh, these rooms need some air con. I guess there's room here on the diagonal. There you go. There's one. Uh, this one has a cocktail sign there. I might need to move that down. Maybe I'll put it on the lower level. There you go. Okay, I think all the, all the, the hotel rooms now have air conditioning. I guess I gotta get figuring out the layout of these rooms. So here's the layout. Now keeping in mind these are hotel rooms, not really apartments, but I guess you could renovate this into an apartment block if you wanted. So we've got big bathrooms in both of these rooms and then obviously the bed will be in here and then we'll probably just have some dresses like a couch or something and obviously balcony space. So that's these two pretty simply done. Upstairs we have these two other rooms that, so they are both also just the single bathrooms. Had to do slightly different orientations because I figured this one you'd want these two windows hanging out the back so I didn't want to put a bathroom on this side and we couldn't put it here because that's where the stairs are and then this one's just in that corner and then this is the bigger I guess almost hotel suite so it's got two bedrooms uh, there's an ensuite bathroom and then also a second smaller bathroom just here. So I changed the uh, those sort of utility stairs a little bit and the upper bit too. So it's a little bit smaller, but it does the same thing. And then they have a big space in there. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go through and do all the bathrooms because they're all going to, they're going to be the same. I think I'm going to, because these, all these bathrooms here are the same size and I can actually, I think I just build them the exact same way. So I think I'm just going to do one and then I should be able to copy paste it. Let's see. This is the little bathroom I did. You know, we've got a nice expensive tub, nice shower, a nice sink and vanity area. I decided to include both kinds of toilets because I figured if it's a hotel, they're probably expecting people from all over locally, tourists, etc. So maybe they would have both. I don't know. That was my idea because I feel like I've seen that sort of setup before. But now I should just be able to grab this, spin it around, put it here. They'll be back to back. I guess I could. Oh, no, I can't really put the shower there because the way the layout works, but that's fine. I mean, these are hotels. But yeah, the way that these hotel rooms are going to work is you're not going to be able to see them. We'll only be able to see one room, which is going to be ours. But then all the shared space will be able to see. So we won't really see all these. It doesn't really matter if they're not exact and all that. Uh, now we definitely want a window there. So I think I'm gonna have to adjust this and that's gonna be the same in this one over here. So this doesn't actually have a mirror right behind the sink, which I guess is okay. So what I would probably do is just have a larger mirror maybe here, just to supplement. And then we could have another mirror or something out here, but that'll do. And now I'll do the same thing over here. But I might need to adjust those lights actually as well, I just noticed. So these, I'm just gonna shift them over a little bit. I mean, it's. Pretty nice actually. You'd have the little, you wash your hands and you have the windows outside. That's quite nice. Okay, so we got those. And then the bathrooms here in this larger two bed hotel room uh, are gonna need to be a little bit more bespoke. So I'll work on that now. So I've done the same kind of thing, same items in here. 
tub and shower. This one obviously doesn't have a tub, uh, and they only have the one kind of toilet because there's not room for both. So that's fine. All right, now let me do a door to that bedroom, and I guess a door to this bedroom, and then that's it. Now I'm gonna start furnishing the actual rooms. So I'm gonna do one of these like I did before. I don't think I'm not gonna be able to copy paste exactly, but. I'll do the same sort of layout in all the rooms. So I think the bed's either here. You know what, I'm gonna move that door. I think having the door right by the bed, probably not the best spot. So I'm gonna swap the door to this other balcony space. Have the two windows there. Yeah, so I'll have the nice big bed here. I do like the green, because it kind of got the green towels going on in there. So I think I'll do that. All right, I think something like this. It's not like super fancy or super furnished. It's also a little weird because of the, the floor plan, but I think it totally works. We've got the dresser over there, a little sitting area, TV. Etc. So that will be enough that they need for like a hotel room. Now, Sims like renting will still need somewhere to eat and drink and all that. So that's why we're going to have the shared kitchen. But I guess I'm going to go do this room now. This room has, you know, the same sort of furniture, but of course a different layout because we have the window out the back, which sees out through here, which I figured you probably want that view when you're sitting down. This view, look, that view's still nice, but I think out that way is probably a little nicer. So I sort of reorientated the room a little bit. We've got the dresser over this side now. Actually, I need a little plant on it. There we go. And I might get a little table lamp. I guess on that as well. There. Oh, that light's gonna go. I'm also just gonna quickly do some stuff here on the balconies. Actually, they should probably be wood. Just so it matches the vibe of the rest of the place. Do these have pink? They do. Okay, yeah, we gotta do these. Couple of little chairs out here. Maybe, can we fit a lounger? A bit like one, maybe. Yeah, yeah. There we go. I've got a nice big plant at the end, so it sort of separates those two a little bit. And then just a lounger, a couple of deck chairs. <laughs> All right, I'm happy with those. Let's move up. I'm gonna do these two rooms over here, which obviously are gonna be similar to the ones we just did. These rooms get even a little bit more weird, uh, but they work. So <laughs> because of, yeah, the, because of these shapes, it makes it a little more difficult to fit the same furniture in. But we do have the same furniture. The TV's just on a little bit of an angle. Uh, I did also give all the beds different sheets, just uh, mix it up a little bit. Realistically, if it was actually a hotel, it'd probably be all identical, so it doesn't matter which bed you're making with what. But they all do have different curtains as well, different patterns, but all the same furniture all around. And I guess that leaves the larger uh, room now to furnish. So let's go ahead and figure this one out as well. So I've just whipped this all up. Obviously, same furniture throughout, more or less. We just have sort of a big bedroom. They still have a couch. There's no TV in the main bedroom here. Uh, and then we have a bunk bedroom for a couple of Sims. This does have a little TV in it, so you can sort of hang out, have your own space. Then the main living room actually has like a little dining area here, which is, I mean, pretty common in hotel rooms, though all the other rooms don't have that because there wasn't really space for it. And then they also have a larger sitting area with a nice TV. And there's also a bookcase, which actually, I think I want to add some books to all the other rooms so that Sims uh, have activities. Kind of hoping I just put it on those guys because I think having more activities for the Sims to do, like when we're renting our rooms, gives us a better uh, rental or lease amount, I think. I don't know, I guess we'll find out. <laughs> Anyway, so there you go, they've got that. All right, that's like all our rooms done. I just gotta whip up this little balcony area here, which I am tempted to put a barbecue, but I really want my guests to use our, you know, shared dining space. And quite frankly, you probably wouldn't have a hotel room that has a barbecue, unless you're doing like a uh, serviced apartment kind of thing, in which case then that is definitely possible to uh, have your own little kitchen space or something. Look, I could add kitchens. Maybe that's something we can do later on, like in gameplay. But for now, it's supposed to be like a little hotel, you know? All right, we've just got a couple of chairs out there. There's nothing really out there. Down to the lobby space and kitchen and dining now. Let's do a check-in area, which I've been talking about for so long. Well, first things first, I think I want to change the stairs to the wood because I think that gives us a nice background. I guess it's not so bad. Okay, so here's what I was thinking. We do this, we get another one, we do a curved piece. So it's like just a really small, like that's it. You know, that's it. That's all it needs to be. Then it doesn't feel like it's taking up too much space. And I should be able to, if I overlap another counter. Oh, that takes up more space than I thought. Because I kind of just want to, oh, you know what I could do? Hang on. If I scale down there go, this counter and then have the computer on this one. This should still work. We'll test it obviously, but it should work. We're gonna have a nice little check-in counter here. It's like, welcome. Welcome to the Shea Samaj, or whatever, or whatever we're gonna call it, I, I don't know. And then we're gonna get some plants around the place because, you know, we're all about the plants here. Let me go. And then maybe behind us, what about some tapestries? Or just the one, maybe just the one, yeah. Okay, so we got that, that's good. Then we got this nice wall here. I've done a lot of the carvings already in all the rooms, like the, the wall art. We haven't done this elephant carving. I know we've got it outside in the building, but we could do this inside here maybe. Does it stand out more? Maybe it should be like that, yeah. Okay, I don't think we need to do a whole lot in the lobby. I, I don't really want to fill the lobby with a bunch of stuff that doesn't really matter. 
We could though do some activities to hopefully get Sims out of their rooms. So if we give them like a chess table or something like that, they're sort of more likely to like leave their rooms, come hang out and use this stuff. So like the gym, that, that should get them out of their rooms. The idea is for this to hopefully get them to come and, you know, hang out here. Cause that, we could put a bunch of seating around, but that's not really gonna do anything for us. But we will do seating obviously in the dining area. All right, let's do the kitchen. I think I'll do the same vibe as like the, uh, the bathrooms, the brown tiles. I don't know, I actually, I really like it. <laughs> okay, let's get the kitchen. Now this has to be kind of nice cause I think all my guests will end up using this because they have to, because <laughs> they, they can't not use it. What if I do an end piece here, an end piece here, can I fit a stove in the corner or something? Is that, that's kind of fun, a little bit different. Look, ideally this would be like some sort of commercial kitchen. My Sims would never come in besides like my Samaj self Sim, but uh, we will need uh, <laughs> the guests to come and make their own food. It's just how it works. We can do like a little breakfast bar out here maybe with, little drinks tray and stuff and the kettles and stuff. But in here will be like the, the kitchen set up. I'm gonna do a full size outdoor bin here because yeah, they can just dump stuff in there. All right, that should be fine, right? I've got everything I need. Yeah, I think so. And then out here, I'm gonna do, uh, I should probably change the walls in here. I didn't really want it to be this. Probably just the wood paneling to match the rest of the place. So I wanna do a little, yeah, breakfast bar kind of thing here where we have, oh, I guess I'll put the, I should probably, the pressure cooker, I guess, hello? Clicking, there we go. This has to go in the kitchen because this actually needs to be, I think they can get to this. I'm gonna have to test this, I'm really not sure. But yeah, the pressure cooker actually does do some new things. But out here, we'll have the drinks tray, uh, there. We'll have a coffee machine, uh, I guess there. And we can do maybe the kettle as well. Or we can do the tea brewer, or should we do, well, we're gonna do the new kettles. I don't know if we need more than that out here, but I guess we'll see. Oh, maybe a fruit bowl. I know fruit bowl doesn't actually do anything, but could be nice. Yeah. All right, how do I make this look nice and not like a cafeteria? I suppose it's just gonna kind of look like a cafeteria. I don't think there's much I can do about it because I just need a few tables in here. I guess if I put them like, sort of up against the walls a little bit, maybe that'll help. Ugh. Why do I feel like this is gonna look really bad? Maybe the flooring in here needs to be the wood, not the tiles. Oh, that helps. It helps, it does. I think we're just gonna get cafeteria vibes though. <laughs> I don't know if there's much I can do about it. I will get a couch in here though. I'll try and make it nicer, but I mean, that's not too bad. Look, it, get, it gets the point across. All right, let's fix some of these lights, these giant lights everywhere. I think that's fine. I think that works. If we need to add stuff, I guess we can. Uh, well, are there any other activities that could be good to share? I mean, we've got the pool. I, I, we haven't really finished this area. I actually should probably do a barbecue and stuff out here. That'd be good for sure. Cool. Telescope could be fun. Oh, you know what? I want to do a, a little lookout. So you're going to walk out here. Man, let me let me get a lookout. Yeah, so you're going to walk out here like there. I want to put like plants and stuff in between this. This would be cool. This would be cool. That trim. And then of course we need columns under it. So it's not like floating. Uh, how many do I want to do? Not too many. Do one there, one there. And maybe just one over here. I don't think we need that many. And then in the middle, we're gonna do like a tree or something. Oh, that's debug. Oh yeah, I've got a lot of debug stuff, don't I? Oh yeah, this is maybe a good one to fit in here. Ooh, it's a little big. What if I scale it a little bit? Oh, there we go. Yeah, so that'll be in here. So that's why, you know, that's why they built the pathway that way. Another sort of taller one there. Oh, these are cute. Do they have colors? No, just those two, that's fine. Now, ideally I want this plus a bench. I might need to make this bigger. What do this? Does this look a little silly if it's like this? This probably needs to be more like that though. Okay, that's all right. Yeah, because then I can fit this guy in. Well, I want the bench here, sort of facing out at least. I like that, that's cute. All right, now we need barbecue for sure. For sure we need a barbecue. I do this one, I feel like this fits. I'm also gonna do another bin out here. I feel like we're gonna need it. Uh, Dining out here is probably also kind of important. Uh, I don't really have that. I was gonna put another lounger, but I think we probably need some outdoor dining. Not a lot of space. So we'd have to just do pink. Oh yes, yes, with these. This is like definitely like the Pink Flamingo Hotel or something. Hang on, let me put that there. I'm gonna move these over here. So it's very much a chill vibe place because if this was a hotel, just them having an open barbecue and stuff just here. <laughs> it's maybe a little loosey goosey, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, okay? All right, that should work. Um, a stereo and like music in that would be really good. We'd have to have it undercover though, because, well, actually it'd be all right at the moment because it's only full rent and base game, but if you have seasons, it would be annoying. So I think what I can do, can we build like a little pergola over here? So have a little undercover area here, and then this can have electronics in it. And that should be fine. We got jukebox. I mean, I guess so. I guess we got it. And I guess if there's any other electronics you wanted to put out here, you could do that. So we've got the hot tub, we got a barbecue area, hangout space, the pool. I mean, it's a good done. There's nothing down here, but I guess 
with other packs we could do other stuff, but there's not really much else to put in, I don't think. I mean, we could do kids play equipment. So if there's kids here, but that's about it. Yeah, I don't think so. I, I think that's it. I think we're done. All right, so one last look at the overall build. I actually really like the entertainment space. I think this could definitely be expanded as well with more money or something or like, uh, you know, put more stuff over here. You can probably even just have another level lower down or something. So you sort of step down, it could be kind of cool. Um, but yeah, that's the, uh, hey, my door out there is ruined. Hey, that window. So yeah, this is the outside. Hey, that window. This is the, uh, hey, that window. All right, so this is the outside, obviously based on that original building that we see around the world. We've made it pink. We've made a few changes here and there to make it a little bit more usable for our circumstances. Got a few air conditioning units around the place. Got a parking lot over to the side here. Nice little bike rack out front. And then let's go into the actual building. So here down the bottom, this is where the main entrance is. Come into like, the, I guess the lower lobby. This goes into my apartment <laughs> where my sim will live. Not the nicest place, but you know, that's all I can afford. But in through my apartment is actually the utility room. Which I guess is kind of strange that it's through my apartment. Maybe this needs to be a second lobby. So you sort of enter here and then there's like another door to my apartment. Oh, whatever. But anyway, there we got the hot water heater, the electricity panel, a couple of spare tuk-tuks and some nice ones outside. And then we have the shared gym area for all of our patrons. Nice little indoor garden space, nice little bathroom as well with showers and toilets. And you do have outdoor access that leads to the entertainment space out the back. And then we have the main lobby up these stairs, you got your little check-in. Uh, and then we've also got our dining room and little kitchen, which of course shared by everyone. We got room number one here, room number two there. Upstairs, we've got room number three, room number four, and then room five, which is this huge one here, two bedroom, well, it's a suite, I guess. Two bed, two bath. And then up on the rooftop, we've just got access to the solar hot water heaters, because we're going to need to use those. We could also turn this into a hangout place. That's potential. So before we go, let's hit save. We're called the Pink Flamingo. We're going to turn this into a residential rental. And now let's actually define the area. So this room here is going to be, uh, that's not the name of my lot. <laughs> what should this actually be called? Because it's not like a hotel room. It's called the manager's office. <laughs> and so I'm going to add this little room here. And also this room here is mine. And I suppose what I could do, I was going to use door locks to prevent people going where they shouldn't, but I could actually just go up here, turn this section here into part of my unit as well. So that would just automatically stop other Sims using it. And likewise, I could do the same up here. So this whole top area makes my unit actually a lot bigger, but it means it would just stop other Sims using it. Oh, and I guess this should also be mine too. These two little spaces. Yeah, because that'll just stop people going where I don't want them to. All right, and then we need to do this room here. So this will actually be our first room. So if we create a unit. So number one, pink flamingo is just there. All right, so I've set this. It's kind of hard to see with all these lines everywhere, but this is number five, pink flamingo with the large one. We got number four and number three, and then obviously number two down here. So that should be all the rooms set. We can actually hide them by clicking on this button. So then we don't see all those outlines because it does get a bit busy. We've got to have a flamingo. I'm calling this place the pink flamingo. We don't have any flamingos anywhere. Where do I even put it? It's Oh, maybe in here. Here we go. Here we go. I can have one in there. Where else could we have them? Maybe just one here in amongst these. You know, we're going to get some flamingos around the place. That's our thing now. We're the pink flamingo. Although we have a big elephant on the front, so that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. But uh, if I get a big one here, it's kind of giving like... <laughs> Calling it the Pink Flamingo is kind of giving it like motel vibes, even though this place is obviously quite expensive. <laughs> okay, that looks silly. I'm not gonna do that. I like I like the subtle one just there and there. All right, with that, we're done. The manager's office. You know what? We're gonna give my manager's office mold just for a little bit of fun. How about that? <laughs> None of the other rooms will have the mold problem. Just just my office. So I guess we could have mold appearing in here somewhere, which I feel like makes sense. Well, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And thank you so much to my top level members for supporting the channel. And of course, to all my members. If you haven't already seen it, we did do a let's play on this. This video has actually come out after we've already done the gameplay. So if you haven't seen that, make sure to go back and check it out. If you did already see that, thanks for watching that video and this video. This is a lot of fun to build. <laughs> this is a lot of fun to build, but you know what? We've now built a very nice, Hotel. I think I want to build like a cheap $20,000-ish apartment building as well. Shared bathrooms, shared kitchen. Maybe we'll see what we can do. So stay tuned. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to leave your comments, suggestions, and feedback down below. I'll see you next time and have an awesome day.